So one of the things that I really enjoy about collecting uh, film cameras is just playing with them and uh, researching them and learning more about them. Um, I find that to be very, very enjoyable. And mostly you would find me just sitting right here, right in front of my cabinet. I, I pull out a camera and I would just be doing some research or I would be playing around with it, trying to figure out how to load film into it. And I do this for my own enjoyment. And I also do it because I want to share uh, that experience with you guys in my vlog episodes. So usually I'll just go and the beautiful thing about my cabinet here, it has several levels here. One, two, three, four, five, five levels. And um, I have my camera stacked back to back and uh, there's a light right there that shines through which i find to be very helpful i've organized my cameras uh, uh, depending on the type of cameras uh, for example up here i have all my metal manual cameras i, I find that um, i'm really drawn to the top shelf here because i really love manual cameras on the second level here i have mostly my automatic uh, film cameras here except for this one which is one of the uh, two digital cameras that I own. Um, on the third level here I have my medium format cameras and also my big uh, Canon uh, EOS cameras mostly. I, I find that they sort of uh, match because of the size and they sort of match being uh, together. On the fourth level, I mostly have my uh, Polaroids on that side over there. I have a, quite a few of them. I also have some in the closet in the other room. And I also have my um, other cameras, other um, mostly manual cameras and some automatic cameras here. And uh, on the fifth level, the bottom level here is mostly point and shoots lots and lots of point and shoots i have i think now i have over 50 uh, point and shoots at the bottom level here so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna go through some of the shelves and pick out some uh, some notable cameras i can't go through all of them obviously so on this side here one of the cameras that i got recently which i i did a video about is that uh, this beautiful camera here really love it there's an episode that i did recently about this one here i have my olympus uh, om1 olympus om2n uh, uh, minota srt 303b i have two minota srt 202s and also the 303b i have the zenith camera the practica the yashica uh, several yashikas actually i have a shinon cm3 um, I have the Yashica Electro, which I did a, a review of recently. So what is my favorite camera on this shelf? There are several cameras here that really I find very attractive. This one in particular, this one here, uh, the Pentax ME Super. It's just a really small camera. Look at this beauty. Just a really small camera. It's really on par with the Olympus om2n and the om1 which i have both as well just look at these nice sleek cameras i love the sleek cameras i also really enjoy the heavy duty cameras as like this one the minota uh, srt 303 just a lovely lovely camera there's this camera that I'm really looking forward to shooting with, the Konica FT1 Moto. This camera actually had some issues. I was able to fix it and now it's working really well. So I can't wait to take this camera out for a spin and show that to you guys. Um, the Zenit camera, a USSR made camera over there is quite lovely as well. Just take a look at this beautiful camera, right? So. My manual cameras are my pride and joy, really. I, I enjoy playing with these manual cameras and it, it just gives me a lot of joy just uh, playing with these cameras. Let's go to the second shelf here. Okay, so second shelf time. And on the second shelf here, these are mostly automatic cameras. I've already showcased some of them, like my Minota uh, Maxim. 
7,000. This is one that I really enjoyed uh, shooting with and I, I did share that experience with you guys. Um, I've also showed you guys my um, Rico Mirai camera, one of the cameras that I also really enjoy shooting with as well. There are several, several cameras that I haven't shot with yet on this level, such as the Pentax, um, which brand is this? The Pentax A3000, um, the Canon EOS Rebel Ti. This one has a, an LCD screen in the back, which is not very common for film cameras. Um, there's this one here that I'm yet to shoot with. There are a few point and shoots on the corner here. So on this level here are my medium format cameras, mostly with some Canon EOS cameras. And my pride and joy camera here is my Mamiya RZ67 camera. I have not shot with this camera yet. I'm building myself up to shooting with it. Right now I'm on uh, my TLRs. I'm having such a blast shooting with my TLRs. And uh, I think I'm almost ready to shoot with this. But look at this beauty, look at this beast. Just an amazing camera. In that same shelf, there's this uh, extra lens that came with my RZ67. Uh, this would certainly be a portrait lens. It's, uh, it's a 180 millimeter lens, uh, f4.5. So you should expect some really, really sweet um, bokeh and um, depth of field with a camera like that if you should portrait with it. And on this side here, my trusty, trusty Mamiya 645. Uh, if you guys remember, those of you that have been following me for a while, I did uh, get another body for this. It wasn't supposed to work and it worked and it was such an amazing thing. And look at that, just a wonderful camera. And over here, this one is the extra body. The original body that I had that is no longer on it, like I'm no longer using this one. So I'm keeping it here just in case I need a body. I'm not selling it for sure. I'm not selling these cameras. Look at that beauty here. My Icoflex. This is the original Icoflex camera. I haven't yet shown any video on this yet, but that is coming quite soon. I have a box camera that one day I hope to experiment with and I'll be sure to share that experience with you guys. And recently I shared this experience with you guys, uh, this rare uh, new uh, special Sibo camera that I shared with you that also resides right here. Look at this beauty. My Icoflex camera. The review for this Icoflex recently came out you can check the link right there for uh, the review, but such a lovely camera. And I have fitted this on my flash unit here and it syncs quite nicely. Beautiful camera. And obviously you guys knew about this because I did share that experience with you. It will be right there. Click on it, add it to your playlist. My Yashica 635, probably my favorite um, TLR to date. Just a lovely camera, look at that. Just beautiful, beautiful camera. Right in front of that camera are a bunch of 620 film cameras, like this one here. I just really enjoy uh, playing with these cameras. I'm yet to shoot with them. I have uh, re-spooled some 120 film onto a 620 spool, and uh, I'm hoping to experiment with these very soon. There are quite a few of them. There's this one as well. Um, that one pops out just like that. It's really cool cameras. Um, and there's also this one here. That one pops out as well, just like that. This is a Kodak Tourist camera. Really cool cameras. And then my um, Mokba 5. This is loaded with film right now. I'm just looking for an opportunity to go out and shoot with this camera. One of the cameras that I really, really value is this one here. This is the uh, Hawkeye. 
It's a Kodak Hawkeye. It's, an, it's, a, it's one of my oldest cameras actually. It is quite old, this camera. Um, this was probably made in the early 20th century. One of my oldest. And, and the surprising thing about this camera is that it actually takes 120 film. A lot of the folding cameras in that era took a 620 film. But this one actually takes 120 film. So I'm really, really uh, stoked about that. Here are my Canon EOS cameras. I have quite a few of them. The EOS 650, I have like two or three of them. I have the 630, I have the EOS 750, and then I have like three Canon Rebels as well. Now at the bottom here, I have quite a, a range of cameras. I actually have th uh, three Canon AE1 uh, programs. And I also have three Canon AE1s. Another notable camera in, on the shelf here is the Canon Net 28. Just a lovely rangefinder camera here. Yet to try this. The one that I am really excited about is actually this one. It's Minota X7 here. Very solid camera guys, solid build. I have my Nikons in there as well. I have two Nikon EMs. I have an Olympus um, OM10, which I recently showcased to you guys when I got this from Edmonton. Just such a nice, sleek little camera. The Canon T70. Look at this beauty, guys. Beautiful camera. I actually really love uh, the build of this. It's not metal, it's, but it is well constructed. It's very durable plastic or whatever material they use. It doesn't come across as, as flimsy at all. It feels very heavy and sturdy. That is awesome. I have the Diana camera here. And one of my older cameras is also this one here, the Ansco. I look forward to shooting with this. This, I think it takes 620 film as well. So it's a 616 film. Okay. The lens is in really good shape. That lens on this camera is just looking really good. And my Polaroids. I will certainly be doing an episode on Polaroids. And uh, I've never shot Polaroids in my life. On this level here, my point and shoots. Just some really, really decent cameras. I have most of them for sale on my website. That's filmphoto.net. I have a few lenses in the back there. Mostly, mostly Olympus uh, lenses. I have the Holger. Uh, this Hoga 120S, I'm yet to shoot with it. It's a toy camera, it's a Lomography uh, camera, but um, apparently it's it's a good entry uh, point to get into medium format. It's, I shouldn't have a problem shooting with this because of my experience right now. And right beside my cabinet over here are a bunch of extra lenses that I have, a ton of them, quite a few lenses. Soligos, Canons, uh, Minotas, Olympus, Pentax, just beautiful lenses. So as you guys can see, I have a lot of uh, cameras and uh, a lot of lenses and uh, I just have a lot of fun with these, you know. I, I enjoy collecting um, and I enjoy uh, shooting with these cameras. It's, it's just my hobby right now. And I'm, I love sharing with you guys as well. So I'm looking forward to doing a lot more videos and uh, showcasing pictures and um, talking about the cameras and reviewing them. There's a lot of good stuff coming your way, basically. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, uh, please do click the like button. And if you have not subscribed, it will be great if you would subscribe. So until the next time guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, stay safe. Mm -hmm.